I would like to call this public hearing to order. Roll call, please. Mr. King? Here. Mr. Schuster? Dr. Rothschild? Here. Mr. McAndrew? Present. Mr. Donahue? Here. The purpose of said public hearing is to hear testimony and discuss the following. Rule of the Council number 33, 2022. Appropriating funds for the expenses of the city government for the period commencing on the first day of January 2023 to and including December 31st, 2023 by the adoption of the general city operating budget for the year 2023. First on the sign-in sheet is Faye Franis. Faye Franis, Granton. We're here at a public hearing about a budget that isn't really the real budget. The real budget is when you amend it, and that's the budget that, that you pass on November 29th if it's passed by then, because Kyle has to leave to do his new job. So it's being rushed. So here's the thing. Why are we having a hearing on a budget that isn't the real budget? We should be having a public hearing on the actual budget that's going to be passed. So I don't even know if this, this budget that you have a public hearing for is even legal, because we should have a right. I wish I had money for a lawyer. I'd file an injunction to stop this. Because the people have a right to have a public hearing on the actual budget. This is not the actual. We're talking to the wind. First of all, you don't even care about what the people say. This is just a formality, because you think you have to do it. Apparently, you don't think you have to do it because you'd have one on the real budget. But you don't care what we say. How about when they had the public hearing for Biden Street? All these people from businesses came. You didn't care what they said. You yelled at them. And they're the ones that keep this city alive. Jessica, Kyle, and Poppy B. Billy will give Paige everything she wants. And Tom, Tom Schuster and Mark McAndrew, they could talk all they want, and they can't get anywhere without three votes. So during this budget hearing, Kyle, you even missed the meeting during budget time. I mean, that's inexcusable. Paige should have been here last week, and she wasn't here. Take, for example, uh, DPW, $80,000 a raise, up to, from 61800 to 80000 Last year, Tom Preamble, and for years ahead, he was the DPW director. He was probably the best director the city ever had, and will probably ever have. But he got an $1,800 raise only. This year, they want to give the person that's not even hired yet, they don't even know who it's going to be, 18000 From 1800 for Tom Preamble, the best director there was, to $18,000 raise to someone they don't even know. Maybe the guy that didn't want to come here because he didn't want to move here for $6,100. He, he didn't want to go through the waiver, waiver, but he's going to wait and see if they get the raise. And I bet he's going to come. And that's another thing. Nobody should be working in the city of Scranton if they don't live in Scranton. They get six months to move in, but you don't follow that either. You don't follow any laws. Uh, let me see if I can see this. Well, Mark McAndrew said last week or the week before, this, these raises, the 3% tax increase comes to a million dollars. And these raises and these new, opinion, these new positions come to a million dollars. So while we're getting this tax increase is to take care of the mayor's friends, giving them jobs, and giving all their buddies raises, astronomical raises, 35,000, 22,000, 25,000. For what? Why do, we need, why do we need all these people? We don't need them. So I don't know. I, we're just here for no reason at all. Because what we say does not matter whatsoever. You don't even have, like Joan was saying, and she'll talk about it, you don't even have the union contracts done. So there's going to be a big hole in the budget. What are you going to do about that? Contingency fund is for emergencies, not to fill in the budget for firemen and police. You should put a certain amount in the budget for that. But you didn't even mention that. Another thing you don't care about. So we're going to be in the hole. So I don't know what you're going to do. But I don't think this budget should be rushed. I think there should be another public hearing on the actual budget, but we can't because Kyle has to leave. And then what? We're going to pick somebody else. And if we don't have somebody else in there, 
uh, Mark and Tom will be against the other three, or two, two and two is high, so I think the mayor breaks the tie. So we can't win anywhere here. So since we can't ask any questions at the public hearing, maybe I'll ask them at the regular meeting and get answers. Thank you. Thank you. Next on the list, Joan Hodowanitz. Joan Hodowanitz, Scranton, Faye, been stealing my thunder. Um, I just want to mention again that I am concerned that we have two major union contracts unresolved, police and fire. And as I was thinking about the budget this morning, I was also thinking about the Uffberg firm, that's our labor council. And if I recall, we put out a request for um, uh, an RFP, I believe it was, uh, when he got hired. Um, and I think that, you know, the, the, the motivating factor for that request was, of course, the union contracts. But I, at ne early next year, I'm going to ask the controller for how much money do we pay the Fberg firm for calendar year 2022. Now, I know it's already in the six figures. And it, the only question is, how high is it going to go? If you look at the October controller's report, you'll see that he got paid from HR nearly $28,000 for that one month. Um, and here's a suggestion. Uh, I see the administration every year recommends new hires. Why don't we hire a labor council that works full time for the city? and handles not only union contracts, but all the labor issues. We could well afford to pay that person six figures if we're paying the Uffberg firm six figures. Why don't we have someone working for the city full time? That we don't have to wait until six months before the contracts expire to try to hire a labor council. We should have someone on staff, and you would save the city, I think, a neat pile of change. And I also have to agree with uh, Faye that I know the answer is going to be, well, if there's an issue with the union contracts when they're finally settled, and it's not going to be this year because they're going to arbitration, that you would use the contingency fund. That contingency fund should be for unforeseen emergencies. And that's not what the union contracts are. We have a long history. We know what to expect. Contingency fund, like we used earlier, $110,000 to pay the electric bill, which we could not foresee was going to increase because of inflation. You couldn't have known that a year ago. So I strongly recommend that, and I would talk to the mayor, you should look at hiring a labor council. How many lawyers do we have in the law department? Got to have at least five or six. Is that not correct? Full time, there's currently two. And then there's th three part timers currently. Well, I still think not, the, not saying what's yeah, I still I'm still saying, though, the city would save a great deal of money if it had its own labor council. And you wouldn't have to pay them 50000 You could pay them 200000 You'd still save money over what we're paying the Uffberg firm. So let's not be penny wise and pound foolish. Let's get the staff we need so that we don't have expired union contracts. Do you realize at the end of this year, there'll be, that's one year that we didn't have those contracts, that they're working without a contract? No wonder they're going to arbitration. And if you look at the history of the city, I don't recall any time that, that the unions lost during arbitration. Thank you. Thank you. That exhausts the sign-in sheet. Would anyone else like to address council regarding the 2023 operating budget? Uh, 
Marie Schumacher. Uh, first, I'd like to say that I was uh, somewhat upset at the mayor's uh, absence and when her, all of her direct reports were here. Uh, but then again, uh, I know the prior Monday, she also stood up the Lutherwood, uh, one of the few nonprofits that sends us pilots every year. So I don't know why she doesn't care, I guess. Um, also, I found a zip in the budget to get the Lackawanna Avenue eyesore repaired and painted. That is really something that needs to be done. I don't know anybody that drives by there doesn't say, when are they going to do something? And then uh, I stick with my prior comment that no current employee should get the raise. A, they knew before they took the job what the price, what the salary was. So, um, and if there are other people looking for jobs, uh, but want to, uh, want to work elsewhere. So, uh, that's, we shouldn't need it. And, the, uh, I'm not happy that the administration did not have uh, the fire and, and police contracts executed. I mean, it was, it was our criminal mayor who um, extended the, their, both of, all of their contracts, and we knew for a very long time when the contracts expired and they should have been done and certainly executed by now. but. Not happening. And uh, I was sort of disappointed that uh, on the, again, when the other people were here for IT and those, uh, because you, uh, Mr. King did not ask uh, if they were giving a sign status on the IT chart, why that wasn't on there. Is it too? It was sort of too small to read, uh, and uh, is DPW sending? Uh, oh yeah, if they are sending a, sta a st status, and preferably it would be by area. Um, and I would uh, like to ask again, Mr. Schuster, to. Uh, zero in on the projects, and we should have added, of course, by now for the uh, uh, on the number of rights of ways and how we are going. Rights of ways are not always uh, easy to get, and the more they're needed, the harder they are to get. And Meadowbrook too is going to require those, and we can't should not be waiting till the last minute. And um, and then yeah, just sort of off the cuff. And what nobody has said specifically why the raises are needed and what they are going to do for the city. If it is just to give them a raise, then, um, you know, there are probably other people who would be happy to have those jobs. So I, I just think we need to tie the salaries to what they are bringing to the city. And I haven't seen any of that. So thank you. Thank you. Would anyone else like to address council regarding the 2023 operating budget? If there's no further business, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Public hearing is adjourned. Thank you.